Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Sunday, March 31st, 2024. I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. Uh, it's a timeless read. I don't use the signs. I don't use the genders. So if this is your reading, you're going to know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies. Toss the rest. Don't try to make things fit if it doesn't. I will be using the he and she pronouns just to keep it straight in my head. No other reason. So if you have to switch the genders and or the roles throughout the reading, go right ahead. That's not a problem. Just remember it is a t uh, general reading. Pardon me. And not every read is going to be for you. There are thousands of people here. Uh, and even if it is for you, chances are that some of it won't resonate. That just simply means it belongs to someone else. Don't do your head in trying to make it fit. It's not advisable. Okay? Use your higher wisdom and discernment. I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the cards as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some, one, and or none. And then we bring it together at the end. Please do me a huge favor if you wouldn't mind. Please like and subscribe. Join this beautiful soul tribe. I would be truly grateful if you did. And for those who have, thank you so very much for showing me that, all that love, all that support. You mean the world to me. I am so grateful. Thank you. I love you. Let's see what the message is for today. Hopefully you're going to have a beautiful Easter. Happy Easter Sunday. Let's see where we're going here. Your guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. What is the message for the collective? How would you like to start? Thank you. No new beginnings. New beginnings in reverse. That's the fool in reverse. Somebody was reckless, careless, foolish. Maybe they're too afraid to take a risk. I don't know. That's the overarching energy, though. It could have been naive. Somebody thought you were naive. They don't want you to start over. Or maybe you don't want to start over with somebody else. You know what I mean? It is Mercury retrograde, so, you know, exes, ex-friends, exes, ex-family members, whatever. They want to come back in and, you know, that could be going on too as well. So the bottom of the deck, we have the underlying energy is Triumph 7. That's the chariot moving forward, overcoming. Um, you could be moving and or traveling, and it's... You're only... I think I'm picking up an energy where you, you don't want to start over with somebody, or you didn't want to start over. Maybe it's just the life you know, change so suddenly in your life because of whatever. And you were forced to start over. But just remember, if that's the point, if that's the situation, um, you went through a hard time recently, a breakup or, or a loss of some sort, you lost a job, a home, whatever, and you're feeling, fuck, I don't want to start over. How am I going to do this again? Listen, you're not starting over from scratch. You're starting over from experience. There's a difference there, okay? You've learned some lessons. It's time to implement those lessons if that's the story. But this is overcoming. This is universally driven. It's also victory. So don't be so down on yourself. I know things are rough right now for a lot of people. But this is triumph, bringing back balance to a situation, accountability. It's a radical acceptance. Sometimes you you can't accept somebody back into your world because they've done so much. You don't trust them anymore or you just don't feel it anymore. Whatever this is, okay, it's still early on. There's a huge red flag there, okay? So I'm picking up somebody who doesn't want to come back into your world. They did maybe screw up your world at one point, you know? Maybe there was a breakup. Maybe you did lose a home or family member or whatever this is, okay, or a job. Something's moving forward in your life. Yeah, shadow. 18. There's a lot of lies and illusions and fear, maybe. 18's the moon. So somebody there's a lot hidden here. Somebody might if it's a it's a, if it's somebody that wants to come back into your world, they're still hiding a lot. Okay. They were working against you behind your back and they're working out of their shadow. Um one in eight is nine. There could be an investigation or they're hiding in cloaking, could be in the reverse. Well, no, it's in the upright. They're still hiding stuff. That's what it is. Somebody's afraid. Or you have a lot of intuition. You know, yeah, obstacles and challenges in the reverse. You don't, you can't bring this person or the situation back into your world. They were trying to impose obstacles and challenges at one point. Five, it could be a divorce or separation. Or they broke the law. Take it for what it is. There's a dark high priest doing magic. But uh, you can't afford to have this person or this situation back in your world. You've done the, the soul work. And one and eight is nine. It's the hermit. So you've done the work. You went with it and you healed. And you've come to some conclusions about whatever this is. Okay. It's still early on. It's still hard to tell where we're going with it. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. So we have new beginnings. Zero. <laughs> oh, spirit. You're funny. They don't want you to start over because they know that... Okay. That's a different, uh, different thing that just popped into my head. They don't want you starting over again. Like going your own way. 
because they know that you're going to triumph at life. Wherever you're going, you're, you're going to be a much happier, better life. You know what I mean? Or it's somebody with that attitude where I want to win at any cost and they want to start over with you just to fuck you over again. Take it as applies. Zero. New beginnings in reverse. Why is this here? Please, Spirit, help me understand where we're going with this read, please. There's a few uh, different energies here, but, I mean, that's standard. This is a collective read, right? So I'm picking up on a lot of different energies. New beginnings reverse. Help me pinpoint the, the message here, please, Spirit. I'm getting too many messages all at once. Yeah, there's a, a backlog. There's a backlog of something. <clears throat> Wow. New beginnings, zero. Thank you, finally. Today for tomorrow, 32. It's a relationship or a commitment or a contract. Dealing with institutions is the hierophant, right? Or you're too highly spiritually ranked here. Psst. Today for tomorrow. This could be between, you know, one generation and another because it looks like a mother and a, uh, and a child. It doesn't have to be. It could be a father and a, a child. But what I'm picking up is... Um, Somebody wants to hold you back. I don't know if, they're, if it has anything to do with children. They don't want you moving on or moving with the kids. I don't know what this is. It's I'm getting a lot of different energy. Atonement, 31, bottom of the deck. So this could be, that's the emperor. It could be a father figure. You could be this father figure or the emperor. It could be a female in emperor energy, a leader or a boss. But there's a lot of swords in this person's back. Hmm. You, it could have something to do with this inheritance. Uh, I don't know. Or life insurance. You know, you, you put some money away for, for the next generation. Or you're trying to set an example for the next generation. Maybe your children or your parent really did a number on you. I don't know. Take it supplies. 18, yet again, naked before the stars. There's a lot of secrecy here. Fear as well. I'm picking that up. Um, you're highly intuitive. There, somebody's in their emotions, though. One and eight is nine. Again, it could be an investigation. They're hiding and cloaking. Somebody's um, isolated doing that work. Balance, balance, balance. That's, you balanced out your life, your emotions. You have a direct connection with source. You have that inner guidance system, which is your, your higher, higher wisdom. Or maybe it's just somebody that you were dealing with relationship-wise. You'd rather be alone, whether it's a relationship or a friend or family. You know, that kind of... You know, you know what they say, enemies, a family like that or a friend like that who needs enemies. So this is a black flower for fragrance. It's 16. Something's going to be shocking. Something's happening suddenly. Or maybe they're, uh, maybe you've been feeling like this for a long time. And maybe they didn't believe that you were done. You know what I mean? And now it's the reality is hitting home. It's a shock to these people or this person. Why the sudden shift? No, it's not so sudden. It's years of you fucking, you know. Doing whatever you're doing. You know, you just weren't paying attention. So you're not starting over with this person. Whoever this is. New beginnings in reverse. Or they don't want you having any beginnings. Zero. New beginnings, zero in the reverse. Today for tomorrow, courthouse. Yeah. There we go. Another five. It's a hierophant. It's a higher power involved. Okay. Institutions, contracts, relationships. Belief systems, whatever. Definitely showing up at the court, whether it's a spiritual court or 3D or both. Thief, 24. Yeah. You used your higher wisdom. It's a contract of some sort. Uh, you made the, the wisest decisions. Okay, you were dealing with a thief or a bunch of thieves. It could be the reverse as well as you parted ways with karmics, okay? Or if it's a false con contract and or in breach of a contract, it was a one... Whatever it's a relationship or a contract, it was a one-sided thing. Uh, somebody didn't use their higher wisdom and there's consequences for their choices. Yep, privileged lady, 12. Uh, you could be this privileged lady or somebody wanted to be a privileged lady or you're dealing one, with one. It could be a mother, 12, 1, 2, 3. It could be an empress, a mother, a pregnancy, and or a divine feminine. It could be dealing with a divine masculine since we saw the 31 here as well. So, or a father. Take it for what it is. Place yourself where you belong, okay? But this is... Somebody want, left just strug, struggling, uh, wasting your time. They didn't want to let go of something or you, maybe. I don't know. It could be in the reverse where you let them go. 
Uh, you surrendered it to God. You're not wasting time, money, or energy on this any longer. There's no more delays. <clears throat> they could be getting arrested as well. And this is a shock. Okay, so tower moment. Whatever this was, was built on a false foundation. And the universe is bringing it down. Okay? Change. They, this could be the mortgage fraud thing and or some sort of stolen property or a home. Or somebody's getting kicked out. It could be a simple eviction. Uh, evictions aren't simple. I know that. But somebody's moving. They're being investigated or they're hiding and cloaking. The fact that they got evicted... They don't want anybody to know. Because, yeah, it's, I've been there, okay? When you're evicted, it's not a nice feeling. Um, but know that if anybody's going to laugh at you for that, they're not your people. If anybody's going to judge you based on that, they're not your people. Do you understand what I'm saying? It happens to a lot of us. Um, and if you've never gone through it, good, okay? Count yourself lucky. But it could happen to just anybody, okay? So don't let that get you down, Okay? I mean, starting over, that could be it. New, new beginning is you have to start over. You don't want to. You're getting evicted. I get it. And it hurts. I'm not minimizing it at all. And it's embarrassing. It's humiliating. And if you've got nowhere to go, it's even scary, right? Um, let's see what else this spirit wants us to know. I'm, I'm there with you, okay? I'm sending a great deal of love if that's what's going on. So new beginnings in reverse, zero. Today for tomorrow, five. And courthouse 23. So maybe you went to court already and you promised to pay, or somebody did, <clears throat> sorry, uh, by a certain time to have, there could be mortgages as well you're dealing with, right? It could be, doesn't have to be rent, but uh, some, yeah, debt. Yeah, they promised to pay and they can't make the payments. So it's, it's debt, debtor's court, you know? Let's see. They don't want anybody to know secrets. Now, I'm also picking up, they could have used your credit or your false ID. Maybe there's a home or something, or a rental uh, in your name somewhere. They, they're keeping something secret. It's a copycat, somebody wanting to be you. Damn. Something to do with paternity as well. There's an investigation. Secrets are revealed. Reversal. So they could have laughed at you one time when you were evicted or didn't know where you were going to live. You know what I mean? It's now happening to them and or some magic. Okay. It's a reversal. Or they're trying to work. Oh, it's a reversal of a court order or something like that. Bankruptcy. Damn. Disrespect. Fraud. Psychic. Sabotage. Slander and libel. Out of control. There's a negotiation. They're trying to negotiate something. Somebody's very sh feeling ashamed. Power hungry. Corruption and vice. You're innocent. So they're trying to paint a picture of you, obviously. That all of these different things were you and it was them. Yeah. They're, they were false. All their allegations were false. Social media and platform. You could have a platform or um, some sort of social media account. You could be a psychic. That, that was there earlier. And or you're relying on psychics to help you through this. Take it as applies. But somebody could have been manipulated by a, tar a tarot reader or psychic. There's a lot of manipulation here. Something to do with a vehicle. This. They could have wanted that for you. Somebody sounds... Yeah, they're going, to, they're going to jail. They're going to prison. They were greedy. They could have gotten some life insurance out on you or something. A lot of temptation here as well. We're going to leave it there. Damn. They were doing a lot of stuff in the background. They had their thumb in too many pies, whoever this is. And I, I still don't know who it is. It could be family, it could be friend or ex or current. Take it take it for what it is. It could be all all involved. I mean, it has it. I didn't see the inher inheritance, but it could still be the inheritance. Or it's just life insurance and or they were doing some sort of fraud, ID fraud, uh, uh, credit fraud, mortgage fraud, whatever they were doing. It's being found out now, it's all. But then they, they could also have been really trying to put these debts on your back. They thought it was funny. Could have been somebody you left in the past, friend, family, or, or ex. And they thought, oh, I'll show you. It sounds like a narcissist or worse. Somebody's a copycat. They want to be you. They hate you, but yet they want to be you. Does that make sense? It doesn't to me. They want your life. How dare you have a life? Well, you do too, whoever this is. You have a life, so start living it, you know, as yourself. Why would you want somebody else's life? 
That's somebody else's life. You know what I mean? Wow, what? You're ripping yourself off. You're just wasting a life. Yours. Where are we going with this, please? New beginnings in reverse. Zero. Today for tomorrow, five. It was five, right? 32. 32, 23, they're, they're bookends. Check that number out if you want. And uh, courthouse 23 in debt. Where are we going with this, please? Copycat, copycat with lots of secrets. They thought they won with all those swords in your back, this thief. Just to find those swords were really in their back. In their back, you know what I mean? <laughs> be careful what you put out in the world because it comes back to you. Today for tomorrow, that could be it too. What they did to you yesterday is coming back on them today here. The Knight of Pentacles, they try to slow something down. Somebody has to take some sort of um, accountability. They're coming in slowly, dragging their feet. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. You are re reliable and um, dependable and responsible. Somebody's going to have to take responsibility for what's happened here. Try to slow something down. This is a poser, a player, male or female, king of wands in reverse. Um, it's a poser player. They sleep around, they fuck around, then they find out uh, they're very, very aggressive, arrogant, conceited, and egotistical. They are a coward. They have low self-esteem. That's why they act the way they do. Um, they want power and control. They're envious and they're a bully, but they can't control themselves. They bit off more than they can chew. It's 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 making me feel like this person gets angry. Hair trigger, temper, they get angry easily. Um, bottom of the deck, yeah. They brought others into danger here. Uh, Knight of Swords. This is somebody that's very abusive. They're involved with crime, possibly. They, they're very reckless. Hair trigger, temper, like I said. Um, yeah, against the Empress. Wow. The Divine Feminine, Empress or Mother. Take it for what it is. They scapegoated you, or this is a group or a family that at one point were celebrating your pain. They are laughing at it. They scapegoated you. This is not wish fulfillment. They don't want you reaching your wish fulfillment here. It's a breakup of a family or a group. Yeah. Now, just so you know, a Divine Feminine, um, this could be a mother. It could be a pregnancy as well. Could be a home record that got involved. I don't know. Take it for what it is, but I'm picking up. If it is a divine feminine, you or them. This also could be a male in divine feminine energy. Um, the divine feminine is the strongest, more, most powerful feminine energy in the deck, and the emperor is the most powerful ma masculine energy in the deck. And now I don't want you getting the uh, this the genders mixed up here because we have both. Okay, we have both genders. We operate under both uh, masculine and feminine. And it's it's to our advantage to balance the masculine and feminine. You can, if you're too feminine, it's not good. If it's too masculine, it's not good. So, obviously, if this is a, a divine feminine, you're um, creative and you're artistic. And you have a lot of love to give. Uh, you're very protected, the Empress and the Emperor, if, it is a, uh, if they are divines. But yeah, you weren't happy with this person or these people. They're always scapegoating you, you know, putting the blame on you when your back was turned. You know what I mean? When their life falls apart, it's your fault. Yeah, well, it's uh, so-and-so's fault. This happened because of so-and-so. Not taking accountability for their own actions or their own life, right? It's always the end. You know why they do that? Because an emperor and an empress, they shine very, very brightly, meaning that they carry a lot of the light. Uh, they're, they're, they have a mission here to upraise the vibrations of the world so they have a little extra light and people don't like that right? because it defends their demons right because you're you, you're like a mirror to these people what they don't like in you is what they don't like in themselves they see this in you they're projecting right so we have the ten of cups in reverse what we're we going with this place i'm in the upright ten, oopsie truth and clarity you shan't and brightly okay so some somebody's being exposed it's an illumination. It's a revelation. Could have something to do with paternity. Could be a pregnancy. This is not wish fulfillment. I don't know. So somebody lied. They spread rumor, gossip, and slander. They were petty, cruel, and a bully. Okay. Sabotage. It could be self-sabotage, but somebody targeted another person. They could be stalking you as well online. Very petty. Very abusive. 
Yeah, it's the inheritance. It could be family. It could be the inheritance as well. Wanting to steal this inheritance or a large amount of money. Uh, it's family discord. Lots of lies. Lots of, uh, huge loss of money here. They don't want you, you know, coming into your own. It could be a spiritual inheritance. It doesn't have to be a 3D inheritance. It can be. But this could be law and order. He's looking at the sword. And he's looking up going, yeah, I see what you mean. There's something wrong here. You know what I mean? There's change. So this king of swords, male or female, is bringing, usher in, ushering in some sort of change or transformation. Could be a doctor also. To, you know, yeah, it's a tower giving somebody some bad news. Okay, this is a false foundation. Whatever this is, it's coming down. It's going to be a, a shock. It's going to happen quickly. It's, it's meant to redirect you. Could be law and order, law and order, or a doctor, or you. Anybody speaking their truth. Okay, the the King of Swords is very measured in their words. They're very um, direct. They don't lie. They don't like lies. They don't like histrionics. They don't like hearsay. They work with the facts. They're very intelligent and wise. They're they're experienced. Okay. So this person knows something's going on here with this family or this money, long-term stability, lots of lies, a lot of um, just carelessness, um, cruelty, slander, I heard. You could be a lawyer. I don't know. Yeah, you remained emotionally ba balanced and focused here. This is the Queen of Cups in the upright, male or female. A lot of love, okay? You gave these people a lot of love. You're very emotionally balanced, stable, and mature. Um... And the tarot deck, the Queen of Cups is the one that has the biggest cup of love. Lots to give, right? Very empathetic, very compassionate, caring, nice, nurturing, sweet. Highly intuitive and psychic as well. And she's like sitting here going, I told those assholes to fucking smarten up. See that little smirk on her face? <laughs> uh, she's sitting there comfy, cozy, sipping on her tea, whatever. And she's thinking, well, I warned them. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's having financial difficulties. Something wasn't fair, wasn't balanced. Um, they're in debt. They're born from Peter to pay Paul. This is not a profit. It's a loss. Uh, they can't play games anymore. Something was unstable. They wanted to make you look unstable. They wanted to put you in an instant unstable situation with debt, with fraud. I don't know. I don't know how these people thought it was going to work because, nah, that doesn't work that way. You know, easy to prove that you weren't what the one running up these debts. Easy to prove your signature, easy to prove, right? Where's the tower here in the upright and the Queen of Cups in the upright? Releasing, letting something go. Detachment, four pentacles in reverse. Opening up. Hermit, there's an investigation hermit in the upright so you could have let these people go you detached from these people went within and did some ice into isolation and did some soul work here um some healing um you let somebody go you're shining a light on something or there's an investigation it could be an institution that had an insider that worked with these thieves take it for what it is i don't know yeah they're going to jail eight of swords or they're stuck they're stuck in their head um, they wanted you stuck in your head, but that ain't going to happen. Um, there's too many obstacles to overcome here. So somebody's feeling st stuck, trapped, restricted. Um, they could be in jail right now. Yeah, cooling their jets in a jail cell. You know what I mean? Contemplating, praying, strategizing. They need to put something to rest. This is an empty victory. Four swords and the five of swords back to back here. Wow. So they could have led a crusade against you. Brought a lot of people to come up against you because it was out of jealousy, ego, pettiness, and cruelty. And you notice the people in the background, well, there's casualties, right? This person's still standing here going, come on, let's fight, let's fight. And you're going, nah, it's all right. Nobody's, nobody, thinking, I guess this person still thought there was people behind them, but they're all leaving because they're all taking on losses. And it reminds me of the eclipse here with this sun or moon, red, it could be a blood moon for all I know, I don't know. But they led some sort of crusade against you. It was all their own beliefs, made make belief, you know? 
what they perceived, uh, you know, jumping to conclusions, assumptions, or they wanted other people there. Maybe, maybe this person's got mental problems, mental health problems, and they just wanted to believe it so badly that you were a bad person because they had your, de your light offended their demons. They were jealous. It's a copycat wanting to be, they were doing magic. There's a lot of lies and illusions, deception, corruption. They're unfocused. They're scattered all over the place. Um, if it's not magic, then just a lot of manipulation going on, okay? And they're getting some karma. They're trying to stall, delay, stagnate, keep you from your destiny. But it's coming back on them. It's a reversal of fortune, change of direction. Star in reverse beneath that. So, yeah, they're feeling ashamed of themselves. They could be sick. They have no spiritual protection. They have no faith. They're losing hope. Or they wanted you to lose hope. They wanted you sick. I don't know. But this is karma coming back to bite them. What you put out is what you get back. The magician in reverse. They're scattered. They're unfocused. They don't have all the resources they need. Maybe they want to come back and, and have you go into another karmic cycle with them. And it's like, heck no. You can go on. Go your merry way. Stay in another cycle. I'm not, you know, they're stuck here. They can't escape this. They can't um, move on. They didn't want you moving on. They're in trouble. They're trying to block this permanent profound ending. Death and reverse. They, if they wanted to take you out for money, they can't. They, they, they were, they were unsuccessful. They, they kept doing something over and over again. They can't overcome what you have. If they just got a medical diagnosis from a doctor and it was a tower moment because the tower is right beneath that, they could be facing an ending here. Okay, so the doctor could be saying to them, "Get your affairs in order," and they're scared. I, I don't blame them, okay? They are scared. They lost control of the situation. They can't overcome something. Just, I, I'm picking up the person that likes to control people, control life. You know what I mean? Very controlling person. And this is something they can't control. It's a fact of life. It's it's life, right? It's a will. It's the will of life. There's a lot of conflict here, a lot of battling, a lot of jealousy, uh, chaos, chaotic thinking maybe, or I don't know. They're scared. Lost control of the situation. They didn't exactly lead their life with integrity, honesty, and um, didn't do the right things. They're feeling intimidated. This has humbled them a lot. The emperor is in the upright. So this, I don't know if this is you or you're dealing with an emperor type of person, male or female, or it's a father. Take this. Somebody stole some money and or they're losing some money here. They're in debt. This could be a judge or somebody that's giving, you know, I don't know what this is. Somebody left you some money. Somebody wants, yeah, somebody lied. Queen of Swords beneath that. So like this could be a judge. In the courthouse going, yeah, you're not going to get this money. It could be another heir or something like that. I don't know. Somebody lied. They, they, they were very vindictive and jealous of you. Stole this money. Wouldn't give you this money. Said you were too unstable. You can't manage your affairs. Whatever this is. It's narcissistic. Whatever this is. Yeah, somebody's a player. They did something too hastily. Got you in a third party situation. So this could be an ex of yours that went to court and t testified against you. So you wouldn't come into your inheritance and or I don't know what they tried to do. They did magic trying to take your, in your spiritual inheritance away. Try to put you into debt. There's a lot of fuckery going on here, okay? Um, whatever they did, they didn't think before they acted. Narcissistic That's what I'm picking up with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Male or female. Just a lying sack of you know what. It is an injustice. A miscarriage of justice. Could be professionals that did this to you. But since they've done this and they, they denied you your money or they did this or tried to put you into debt, this person's found out they could be sick now. This is part of their karma that's come back on them. And they don't know how to deal with it. And they're going through this court case at the moment as well. Yeah, they're very unstable here. They wanted a life of luxury off your back. Okay. This is something that's greedy and selfish. 
self-serving, unstable, insecure, insecure, uh, codependent, clingy. And this is a financial, they're either going towards bankruptcy under your name and or uh, this was a crime, a financial crime. This is also homes. This is property or a home. The family's falling apart. The party's over. It could be losing business as well and stability. False contract. They're in breach of contract. Three of Pentacles. Nobody there to, to pick up the pieces and help them. Okay. They are uncooperative. Maybe in the past you were having financial difficulties. You were homeless. They didn't want to help you. They laughed at your pain. Right now it's happening to them. And now it's the Nine of Swords. The worst has happened. This is a nightmare. They're realizing that they never showed you love. They had no compassion for you. That they were just thirsty. Okay. Um, this is not wish fulfillment for them. They lied, cheated, and or stole. So everything's hitting them all at once. They're in debt. Page of Pentacles in reverse. They bore false witness. Whether it's docu um, doctoring documents. You know what I mean? Forgery. Blah, blah, blah. Fraud. Uh, they're hurting for money. They're in debt. They're lazy, disrespectful. Whatever they tried to do, it didn't work. Okay, they took a huge gamble and they lost. They could be a gambler. Right? Judgment went against them. They're getting some karma. Lack of awareness, acceptance, and accountability. Okay, this is bad news for them. They lied. They threw rocks and hid hands. They felt entitled. This is something that's very, very juvenile. Okay, it's a drama starter. And now they're scared. They're paranoid here. They could be uh, barricaded in their home. Maybe, you know, the sheriff, police are coming to, to vacate them. Yeah, they're heading towards po poverty. You overcame and persevered, okay? Even with all their lies, with, even with them throwing magic your way, even with them and their machinations, you were able to overcome persevere, the, the wounded warrior. And you put up some fierce boundaries, okay? So it looks like the cops are coming to this person's home. They could have, I don't want to say that. This could have been stolen property or something. Okay, they couldn't, um, I'm picking up somebody that wanted to sell this home before they got caught, you know what I'm saying, and be long gone. So now they're thinking, well, screw the world, you know what I mean, I'm going anyways, and they just set it on fire, or their world's on fire, take it. So anyways, they're going towards poverty. They, they wanted this for you, but it's, it's turned back on them, okay. At a lack and a loss, uh, headed towards poverty. They could have done this to you in the past, laughed at your pain, and you were out there with a child or children, and now, you, just be careful who you laugh at, okay? Because the, the divine spirit, the universe, they take note. And you might have laughed at somebody 10 years ago that was going through this. Guess what? It's your turn. You know what I mean? Never laugh at another's misfortunes. So we have... So he's at a lack and a loss here. They followed another out into the cold. It could be in a different city. They don't know the city. They don't know this. They feel foreign. They feel out of place. So it was very, very greedy. They made a decision. They went to the crossroads, possibly. They're watching you online. Maybe they're realizing this person was my wish fulfillment. And I left them out in the cold. Now they're sorry. Could be also this day and age, just so many people that are homeless. You see the people in the background; they're going through some really tough times with the with the mountains. That's hardships, and there could be a lot of people displaced at this moment, right? Now they're realizing what it's what it's like. You meet all kinds of people, okay? There's a lot of people that are homeless. It's not just because they're they're addicts and they're they're irresponsible or. Whatever they want to call them. You know what I mean? People look down. A lot of people are one paycheck away from being homeless. Or even less. Um, there's more and more homeless here. More and more displaced persons. So somebody's got to make a decision. Making some plans. Watching from afar. Or you could be... This could be you. You're getting wind of this online. Or something like that. If you have a platform, they're watching you. Or you're helping them through this one way or another if you are a psychic online. Yeah, something stopped here. It's not going anywhere. They don't want to take accountability. Maybe they're trying to make some plans to stop something. They could have inter intercepted online um, your money and or your mail. Yes, yeah, devil energy. They maybe have codependency issues. I don't know. But they're obsessed here. They're heartbroken. 
very heartbroken. This person's toxic, whoever this was. They wanted to break your heart on purpose. Yeah. They could have lost uh, a very close family member or they caused a lot of trauma and burdens for you in the past. You're not going back to the past. Unrequited love. You walked away. Whether it's a relationship, family, or friend, it was unrequited. It was, there's no two ways. You were carrying whatever relationship this was. There was no emotional fulfillment or happiness. There was a lot of emotional withdrawal here. Okay, so you left and you walked away. You invested eight out of ten cups into the situation just to find out there's nothing in those cups but backwash. Or this person has to quit drinking, walk away from the drink or drugs or whatever. They're facing the unknown. You walked away and look at this. You hit your stride. Just by you walking away from the scenario is victory for you. Okay. You might be on the uh, out in the public eye. If not, this is victory, success, reward, recognition. This is the wounded warrior, warrior yet again coming home after battle to the accolades of their community, right? This could be you or them or somebody else. This could be a father. It doesn't have to be a father. It could be a female, okay? But see, there's no, nothing in this cup. Usually he's holding this cup up. Maybe this person is winning because they you or them stop drinking and or drugs right but this cup also can signify there's no emotion here or this person doesn't show a lot of emotion they're very stoic but they want a new beginning with you they see that this could be you or them okay very stoic emotionally balanced and stable uh mature very loving very uh, whoever this is doesn't wear their their heart on their sleeve you don't know what they're thinking or how they're feeling, but they love very, very deeply. They feel like a fool now. They put a lot of pressure and burdens on your back, or they're burdened now. Yeah, they wasted time here. Try to sacrifice you or something. Now they're struggling. They know. Uh, the ace, ace of Swords was beneath that. They now know how you feel, okay? They didn't want to look at things from a different perspective. They were wasting time. They're feeling stuck. Just in case, whoever this is, you're feeling like there's no way out except for one way. That is not the way. Please don't do that. Pick up the phone and ask for help. Please do that, okay? Yeah. Somebody's praying. Got a lot. It's a parting of ways with some sort of karmic relationship. Somebody could be alone right now. There's lack of trust. That just fell out. The truth is coming out here. So you could have prayed for the truth to come forth and it's coming out here. Somebody has to face their fears, okay? They've got a secrets are now coming out. They face their fears. Maybe they were shit talking you. It definitely sounds like it. And or they were using some magic. The truth's coming out in the court of law or to an institution or about a marriage. You could be the wife. You're dealing with a wife, somebody stable and secure. They know their value and their worth. They're, they, they operate with integrity, loyalty, and honesty. They're very stable and secure. Hardworking, abundant. And they didn't invest in you. This is a poor investment. You get what you give here. You could be losing a lot of money. So this person could have married for money or something. Yeah, a third party situation. And there we go. Or you could be using your higher wisdom. Enough is enough. You're going towards a higher level soulmate connection, possibly. But uh, I'm picking up a third party got involved. Whether it's love, friend, family, it doesn't matter. Or it's a contract. You could have used your name on this contract. A doppelganger, you know what I mean? The third party pretending to be you. Wow. Okay, I get it now. I'm a little slow today. <laughs> they lied. No communication, no clarity. This was a betrayal, harsh and painful end. They're having an emotional outburst. They're immature and insincere. They gotta balance this out. Somebody's making a head over heart decision. They gotta pay, they gotta pay. This is justice, they gotta pay. It's over now, okay? They can't fight this, okay? They are defeated and overwhelmed. They made accusations about you that just weren't true they didn't defend you protect you maybe the courts didn't protect you maybe they went along with this scheme if it's the inheritance thing um but you're balanced you could be working online you're very balanced but see they're gonna have to balance this out the scales somebody's gonna have to pay to make up for this bullshit 
Okay, for this. Maybe you're going to get suing. Maybe you're going to sue the lot of them. I don't know. No new beginnings. This is in reverse. They don't want you starting over. They thought you were naive. They were, okay? They took a lot of risks, unnecessary risks, okay? So this is triumph for you. Universally driven, moving forward, bringing back balance and accountability. They don't have a choice, okay? You overcame quite a lot. Today for tomorrow, again, dealing with institutions, contracts, marriages, commitments, um... Car karmix, right? This is money that was left over to, for you and they betrayed you. 31, emperor status. Uh, could be, again, c corruption in the reverse, but also you bossed up and took back your power. So you're do going dealing with the courthouse, 23, another 5, that's the Hierophant. A judgment's been rendered. These people are thieves, okay? False contract, in breach of contract, right? So there's a lot of debt going on here in secrets. And they, it was a copycat with an ex and or a family member or a friend trying, yeah, division of property. This is the, yeah, this is the inheritance or something. So they're homeless, like I said. They wanted you homeless or they wanted you in disgrace or they claimed in a court of law, if it's the same old story, that you're homeless, you have addictions, you're crazy, they've not talked to you in years, but yet they just talk to you. You know what I mean? And they're holding up. Everybody's lying. Everybody lied to, to you, everyone and their dog. You know what I'm saying? Not fair, but oh well. You're going to have to face what they've done here. Where's the other deck? Am I losing it? Oh, I didn't take it out. Well, end with the goddesses. How's that? Because I didn't bring the other deck up. Goddesses, how are we ending the read for today, please? What is the final message? They want it. I just heard they want the whole enchilada. I don't use that termination. Um, determination. You were very determined, Maeve. Or they were determined trying to ruin your life. Fomnak out of envy. Wow. Creation. Gaia. And then we have purification. It's Papaloto. So purify. Keep purifying, okay? Because, yeah, you're, you're an inspiration here. Curdwin. They could have been doing magic. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of, you know, somebody with a... You have a lot of integrity. So you have a lot. You, you inspire a lot of people. You have a lot of integrity and prosperity is coming towards you. Urzuli. Yeah. Urish Kagal. Somebody was coerced into doing whatever this was against you. Or maybe they try to coerce you. I don't know. But it sounds like grand larceny to me. Okay. Um... Get less planning to do. Okay, Maeve. Um, a life changing offer is imminent. You will be forced to choose between two people. A promotion or job change presents itself. A local political career beckons. Take charge of a domestic situation. Invitations will come thick and fast. Plan well, and you can make the most of them all. So, whatever this is, it might hit the news. Who knows? It might be something very, very big um, concerning politicians. I don't know. Because if they tried to take money from you, your inheritance, um, property, you know, it's some sort of a lot of different fraud um, is involved here. Maybe politicians are involved. Maybe because you're so honest and inspirational, they want, to, you know, they're going to make a suggestion. Why don't you run for this, that or the other? I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, you might be getting a lot of offers after this. So like the, like. May suggest try to use it all to your advantage. I mean, you can't do it all. Um, always connect with the divine, with source, to find out what's the, what's best for you. You'll know. I think you'll instinctively know anyway. So there's someone who should be, for me, there's someone who should be avoided. A crush has gone too far. Time to cut ties and move on. Beware of plagiarism. Stop manipulating another's free will. So somebody's trying to plagiarize your work. Trying to manipulate you and your free will by doing magic. Your life path is yours, to, is yours to own and walk alone. Protect yourself from jealousy. Try to balance your material and spiritual life. So somebody's very jealous of you. Sounds like it's this copycat. It could be a same sex. Somebody's in lo love with you. They want to be you. They want to breathe you, wear your skin. It's somebody that's very... Just be careful, okay? Uh, I'm not making fun of it. It, it could be um, serious mental illness, okay? 
could be dangerous, so be careful. Gaia, you're being distracted from your path. Time to focus on what is truly important to you. Be true to your beliefs in yourself. Don't give in to the demands of others. Set clear boundaries. Be responsible for your actions. Seize the day and create the life you want. It's pretty cut, clear cut and dry, but um, I was just thinking something else when I read that. Gaia, where was that again? Sorry. What was I thinking again? Oh, don't give in to the demands of others. So, somebody might be coming back into your world. It could be family, friend, ex, whatever. And kind of threaten you if you don't help them. Remember the old saying, we do not negotiate with you know what, right? <laughs> if they're aggressive, if they're, you know, you don't even. If you can avoid talking to them, avoid it. They're just going to get aggressive with you. They're just going to try to twist your words and get you in trouble. You know what I'm saying? I think you're at peace right now. Keep it there. I can't tell you what to do. It's just my suggestion. Angels, how are we ending this read for today, please? What is a parting message for the collective sun? Extreme happiness. It's the best card in tarot. It's, it's source. It's God, right? So this is exposed. Illumination, truth, clarity. It's beautiful. You're going to be happy here. Restoration of life, protection from adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. Don't let them touch you. Don't let them bite you. Not a sword. Something's coming in quick. It could be the authorities. Hera Hell, 5914 is bringing back balance, accountability, okay? You could be a healer. You're divinely protected and guided. You've transmuted this shit, right? The all pervading God. Looks like you have the globe in your hand. So intellectual richness protects fertility of women, makes children respectful toward their parents. Could have something to do with children as well, or you could be this child. You know, at you know, I mean, we're all children of somebody's. Knight of Pentacles, uh, integrity, loyalty, and honesty. It's a rite of passage. It's your birthright. Somebody has to take accountability for what they've done. They tried to delay you, but we're always where we should be, right? Leela Hell Six, making a div uh. Using your higher wisdom, making a decision. There's consequences, though. There's still lovers, right? For whatever we decide, whether it's in the upright or in the reverse, someone's going to get hurt. The praiseworthy God, light of understanding, acquires knowledge and cures illness. Kind of swords. They're sweating it. They're very burdened, okay? 15. They have codependency issues. They're in their operating out of their shadow, okay? Looks like somebody that... Wants to punish people, but yet they can't control themselves. I don't know. So one of, again, it's, it's codependency issues. They're obsessed with you. Somebody's bound to the devil. Purification, again, purification. So please cleanse, keep cleansing, okay? Protection from the impious religious sentiments. So maybe you're spiritual or religious. If that's your, it's up to you, okay? That's your personal um, prerogative. And if somebody wants to hurt you for that, well, they have no right. Okay, it could be a hate crime as well. If you're online and they're um, def defaming your character and or trying to hurt you in any way, it's considered a hate crime. If they got a whole whack of people coming after you and you work as a spiritualist, that is a religion. So can you imagine if you were a Christian, if you were um, Muslim, if you were Jewish or anything and they did this? Wow, right? There's laws against that. So spirituality is the same. It's it's a belief system, right? Spirit saying true. Ace of Swords, Umabel, 61, 7. You're moving forward. It's universally driven, bringing back balance and accountability. You overcame a lot. God above all names, elevated. Affinity, friendship, obtain the friendship of anyone. So this is a time where you're going to come into your uh, soul tribe. You're going to find out who belongs in your world because certainly these people don't. Temperance, bringing back balance, accountability. This is healing. You're a healer could be a, an earth angel or the, the angels are surrounding you. Take it for what it is, okay? Um, lots of patience, lots of healing. Take the time out you need. Take all the time you need to heal, okay? The God of joy, reconciliation, regains the favor of those who one has offended. So some people in the equation might be coming back in your world. Again, consult with, with uh, the divine, with your spirit team, okay? Ace of Pentacles. So it's an opportunity and um, an offer coming through. This is stability. This is, you have spiritual gifts. You have the gift of sight for sure. But it's also a gift from the divine. 
whatever this is, it's tangible, it's valuable. You can use this, whatever he's giving you to build generational wealth on potentially, right? It's, it's going to give you that, the ability to not worry so much about money for the next however long, right? Please use it wise. I'm sure you will invest it, you know? So eight, this is strength and courage, having integrity, loyalty, and honesty, the adored God, divine blessings, drives away evil spirits, rules, agricultural production. So just cleanse. They've been sending you the evil eye, evil intent, and or spell work or all of the above trying to stop you. They could have tried to sacrifice you. They could have, they've lost somebody in their world doing that. And I can't imagine how they feel. I wouldn't want to feel that. Um, imagine doing spell work, directing it to somebody. And it, it was actually somebody that was here for a purpose or on a mission for God. So it comes back, right? You're too highly spiritually ranked. It comes back on somebody they love and they lost. And they can't tell the world. They can't tell anybody. But you know what they've done because of their greed and them refusing to heal. They did something like that. You know, I wouldn't want to be them. But I just suggest for this person or persons who's done this, if you're in this situation, turn to God. He's an, he's an all forgiving God, but you must turn to him because otherwise you're just going to be a lost soul. And I think that's worse than anything. Just know that whatever this is, was preordained. Okay. You had a choice. We all do, but there's certain things that is already preordained. It's written down. Um, turn to God. Okay. I don't think there's anything we could do in this life that God wouldn't forgive us for. But we have to be altruistic and we have to mean it. We have to be sorrowful and remorseful and mean it. And that means change. That means doing that healing work. As hard and as daunting, as scary as it is, these people must do so. Or they're lost. You know what I mean, right? Anyways, I'm not here to judge them. I'm just saying, turn to God. That's what he's there for. Um, stop turning to the old stinky guy because he's not there to help. He won't help you. He helps get you in these situations, but he's not going to help you out of it. Trust and believe when I say that. Okay, so for whoever this is, congratulations. You're moving forward, okay? You've hit, you've healed, you've done that work, you've been obedient, and then now it's time for the divine. He wants to bless you, okay? Bless you and yours. So congratulations. I hope this, I hope you like the read, and until next time, take care.